Hey, hello guys. Uh, so today we will solve this problem intersection of two linked lists from lead code. And in this problem, we are given two linked lists. The given linked list may intersect or may not intersect. And in case they do intersect, then we need to, you know, return the uh, merging node or the node at which the the given two linked lists intersect. And in case they don't intersect, that is, uh, the two given linked lists do not have an intersection point. Then we can simply return null or none. And that's the problem. The approach we'll be using here uh, is that we can have two pointers. One pointer initially at the head node of linked list A and another pointer at the initially at the head node of linked list B. And we can have two iterations. During the first iteration, uh, we can move the, each pointer to the next node successfully. And whenever one of the pointers uh, reaches the tail node, we can move that pointer to the head node of the other linked list. Uh, that is what I'm trying to say here is that Let's say there's a pointer A at the head node of linked list A. And uh, after this pointer A uh, traverses through the linked list and reaches this tail node, we can move this pointer A to the head node of linked list B. And similarly, the pointer which was at the head node B, uh, head node of linked list B initially, after traversing through the linked list, after it reaches this uh, final uh, tail node, we can move it to the head node of uh, linked list A. And the reason we are doing this is that after the first iteration, we would have counteracted the difference in length uh, between the two linked lists. So the two pointers would have traveled the same distance. And in case there's an intersection point during the second iteration, uh, then these two pointers will be will will intersect at the will or actually will meet the uh, intersection node at the same time. That way we can check if the two pointers point to the same node, and then we can return that node. And in case uh, the uh, given two linked lists do not have a intersection point then these two linked lists sorry these two pointers will not meet anywhere and they'll reach the tail node at the same time that is in case both the linked lists have the same length uh, then the pointers will, will reach the tail node which will be the null or null node at the same time and in case uh, they do not have an intersection point but the difference in uh, but there's a difference in the length of the two given linked lists, then they'll reach the tail node at the same time during the second iteration. This is because uh, during the first iteration itself, we would have, uh, you know, counteracted the difference in, in the length between two linked lists. So that's the approach uh, we'll be using. And uh, initially, we can check for a boundary condition when the when either of the two given linked lists is not, not existing or is simply none. In that case, we can simply return null or none. Because we know that in case uh, either of the two linked lists doesn't exist, then there can't be possibly a, a merging point. So that's the approach and let's start with the code. So this is the code and uh, this should work fine. Okay, good. Let's submit the code. Okay, yeah, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.